Hello, hello there, friends. My name is Sammy Kurzawa, Community Librarian with Deschutes Public Library, and today we are going to make epic origami. What is that you say? Well, it is origami that is gigantic. We are going to make both a whale as well as a paper crane. And you can do this with stuff that you have right in your own home. All you will need is some scissors, newspaper, or wrapping paper, which you'll use to fold and create your origami. Now, let me show you how to turn both of these into a square. You might be surprised to learn that many newspapers are not square. Here are two ways to easily make it square. The first way would be to fold your paper diagonally, taking the corner across and folding it so that the sides meet. Then, cut off the excess that isn't currently covered. This isn't shown here, but you can use the instructions for wrapping paper later in the video. The second way is to measure the length and width of the newspaper and cut off the difference. So ours is about 23 and a half inches wide by 22 and three quarters inches long or tall. Now we have to do a little math. Our difference in width and length is about three quarters of an inch. So go ahead and fold your newspaper back up and we're gonna cut three eighths of an inch off of the longer side. Now, why am I cutting only three eighths of an inch off when it's three quarters of an inch longer? Well, when I fold the paper in half, it actually takes off that same amount from each side. So if I multiply three eighths of an inch by two, I end up with three quarters, which is how much I need to shorten that side by. And now we have a square. Okay, friends. Now that we have our square newspaper, we are going to make a whale. So the first step is to fold it diagonally, taking one corner over to the other, lining it up, and then creasing it down that line. It may not be perfect, but that is a-okay. Then open it back up again, and we're gonna do two folds that are very similar. We're gonna take this corner piece over here, and we are going to fold it so that long line lines up with that middle crease that we just made. Just like that. And now we'll repeat it for that other corner. Taking that corner in, folding it, lining it up with that middle line. Ooh, it's a little windy. And creasing it. And now we kind of have something that looks like a kite. Well, we're not going to have that for long. We're going to open it back up. We're going to do the same fold, just the other direction. So we're going to take that same corner, but this time we are going to make that narrow point with the corner on the other end and line up and fold it. Same repeat on that other side. And then what are we going to do? Of course, we're going to open up one more time. And now we're actually gonna make two lines that meet these two little creases on the side. And they're gonna go straight out to the corner. But we only need them in that little spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this end and come across and just hold the tip of it with our finger. And then we're gonna find those lines on our paper and just crease to the point of the corner. And same on the side, there's those lines. We're just gonna crease to the end and then we're gonna open it back up. So you'll notice that in the middle, I don't have any creases here, just in that section on the end. Well, now we are going to take this and make a funny little fold with it. We are going to go kind of Pinch that little section that we just folded so that it makes the point. And these two sides are gonna lay flat, kind of like they did when we made that kite shape. And same with the other side. Crease that little crease that we just made and put in along those other creases that we made. Now this is pretty challenging with this big paper and with the wind right now, but there we go. And then we're just gonna fold those little points down. All 
Alright, so now we are going to flip the paper over just like this. And we're going to fold this side just straight in to that middle point. Just like that. And one more time on the other side. Straight into the middle and crease it. So now it's kind of almost an oval shape if it were, if it had straight lines. And then we're going to flip it over again. We still have our little flippies here. And we're actually going to take some scissors. If you don't have scissors, you can always just use, use a little tear. And we're going to cut this in just a couple inches. And then we're going to fold the paper in half. So that our little flippies are pointed out still. Okay, now that we have it folded in half, we are going to make the head of our whale by folding in the front part of our origami. Not the side that we just cut, but the opposite end. And we're just going to fold in, kind of like that, to make a head. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but that is what it will look like. Just kind of folded in. Okay, next we are going to fold our little flippies and our tail. You're going to take your flippy and fold it down. And take your tail and fold it up. And then you're going to flip it over and repeat the process. And look. Now we have our whale. Who would have thought? There we go. And now, if you want, you can add a little face to your whale. So here, I'm just gonna make a little mouth. See? Right. Here's my little mouth. And then I'm going to make eyeball and actually I'm gonna just use the O that is already on my newspaper so there's one side of my my whale with his little face and if you want you can always flip it over and give him a different face on the other side so let's see And there is my completed whale. Now we'll learn how to turn a roll of wrapping paper into a square. You can use these same steps for any rectangular paper that isn't quite a square. Start by rolling out a good amount of the wrapping paper. Then take the right corner and fold it across the wrapping paper roll diagonally. The right side or end of the paper should now be lined up with the top edge, as you can see here. The bottom part of your paper has made a nice line down the wrapping paper, which you'll use as a guide to cut. So take your scissors and cut it off so it looks like you have a triangle. Once it's apart, open up your paper and voila, it's a square. Okay friends, I had to move inside because it was too windy out. But we're going to continue and we are going to make our paper crane. So we just cut our square piece of wrapping paper and now we are going to start folding. So it's already folded diagonally because that is what we needed to do to make it square. So just to make things simple, we're just going to fold it in half again to keep those, put those little corners together. And go ahead and crease that fold. Then you're going to open it up all the way and we're going to flip it over. Now we're going to fold it in half instead of diagonally in half. We're just going to keep it, what is that, a hot dog or is that a hamburger fold? When it's a square, does it matter? All right, here we go. Fold it in half. Now we're going to open it up again. We're going to fold it in half the other direction. Now this might be kind of hard because the paper is so big, but that is okay because we're going to fold it and it's going to keep getting smaller. And if your folds aren't perfect, 
it'll probably work out in the end anyway. So we're gonna open it back up. I'm gonna make it so that my pretty color is facing out. And I'm actually going to fold it in half again. I'm kind of changing how I normally would do this because the paper is so big, we have to figure out how to make it possible with the size of paper that we're working with. Okay, so now you can kind of see, at least not on, if not on my paper, on your own, there's lines from where we folded it in half as well as diagonally. And now what we're going to do is we are going to make it so that this corner on the far end is going to be folded underneath over in this section. So we're going to take this, we're going to pop or fold the other direction and use that line from when we folded it in half. Oh, I tore mine a little bit. That's what happens when you use wrapping paper in it. And we are going to pop that in. exact same thing to that other corner. Hopefully this one will go a little faster. Okay, but now we kind of have, we have another, we have a smaller square, but we're going to keep it diamond shaped for us. So that opens, the spot that opens is going to stay closest to you. And you're going to take one of the corners and you're going to fold it in so that that corner line closest to you lines up with the line directly down the middle of your diamond. Taking that kite fold like we did before. You're gonna repeat it on the other side. And you'll notice I'm only taking one layer of paper. So we have enough that we can flip it over and repeat it again on the other side. Lining up that line down the middle and folding and repeating that one last time. Then you're going to take the top part and you're just going to kind of fold it over our kite shape just to get a little crease there. I'm going to flip it over and repeat that again. This will just help us in our next fold because at this point we're going to open back that first layer of our kite and we're going to take this end of our paper and we're going to fold it up and out. You'll notice there's that line here that we just created, as well as the line here, a crease here that we created as well from when we folded it in. We're gonna fold all the way to that line right here, folding it back, and we're gonna back, take those creases that we had along the sides, we're gonna kind of fold them the opposite direction, but keeping to those same creases. Right, kind of have to mess with the paper a little bit. And now we're gonna flip it over 
and repeat that again on the other side. So we're opening it up all the way to that straight line across, folding it back, and creasing our line the opposite direction. chicken legs and that's great. We're going to take one layer of the paper that folds up again and we're going to fold it in again as that little kite fold so that our side here lines up with that middle line. We're going to fold it down. We're going to repeat this with each side. Okay, so we've flipped it over, and we're gonna do this again. Our little chicken legs are still down here. We're gonna fold this line right into the middle of our page, and this one back into the middle of our page. So now, oh, there's air in there. Now, this end is narrower than the top. We're gonna change it to this direction, and we're going to fold just half of it and over. Down this line. Flip it over. We're going to take that one. We're going to fold it the other direction. And now we're going to fold this end straight up. And you'll fold it up to where you can't really fold it anymore. There's the papers connected right here. And you'll just fold it in a straight line. Flip it over, fold that up again, right up to that same point, crease it, and then you're gonna fold it and half back how it was to begin with. And now you're going to pinch this paper right here in between, and you're gonna pull it out so that the line kind of lines up with the edge of the other paper, and you're just gonna crease the bottom here to keep it in place. The same thing with the other side. Pull it out, pinch it and pull it out. Line that line up with the edge and then crease it down at the bottom. And then we're gonna pick a side that's gonna be the head. And then we can open up our frame. And there it is. And it is huge. If you want, if you pull these out a little bit, It'll kind of puff up and give it some space in the middle. Nice work. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me today for Epic Origami. I had a lot of fun. There were challenges. We got through them, and it was fantastic. Well, I have some books to share with you. The library actually has a lot of origami books, both original origami as well as dinosaur origami and Lego origami, pretty much any origami book you could ever want. So go ahead, go online, check it out, and make more. And see what else you can turn epically big. Have fun. Bye.